Hey scrappers, thanks for watching another episode of uh, Scrapping With Me. Um, tonight's topic is going to be something that I've been getting some requests for. It's scrapping cell phones. So with me I've got uh, some cell phones here and we're going to go over just some basics on scrapping cell phones, what to look for. Um, so let's, let's take a look. Alright, so I've got a basic um, timeline of phones. I don't have a, a brick phone which I hear are actually kind of disappointing to scrap. Um, but you've got you know, the, the older, you know, big bulky phones. They start to get a little bit smaller, then a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And they have the color screen, and they have the flip phones. And then over here, you've got your um, your sliding phones with the color display and you know, touch screen and all that stuff. So first things first, you're going to want to remove the batteries, which I have done in just about all of them. All right? If it's a nickel metal hydride battery. Um, those need to be recycled special. If it's a lithium ion battery, like this one, there are actually companies out there that will buy these from you per pound. So put those aside and save them. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, um, in the newer phones, uh, the older ones um, don't necessarily have them, but in the new ones you're going to find they have this little smart card in them. And you're going to want to remove that should be the first thing you take out. Because right on the back of that smart card, some nice gold there. Now, from what I've learned on the gold refining forum, um, these are actually fairly easy to get uh, a yield or outcome uh, measure from them. Um, they're, they're typically all the same, and it takes about a thousand of these to make one ounce of gold. So, you know, I know you're thinking a thousand, holy crap, that's a lot of freaking cell phones. But, you know, I mean, I've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven here. Um, and this is just from this week, or just um, a recent batch that, that didn't sell. And you, you pull these out of every phone you get, you don't sell a phone with that in it. So, keep that aside, and it will add up eventually. You know, you'll get there. All right, so what you're going to need for... Um, the newer phones anyways, uh, are going to be Torx bits. The smaller ones are the ones that you're most likely going to use. All right? Now, cell phones really don't have a whole hell of a lot of gold in them. Um, it's actually a bit of a myth that people think that cell phones are you know, loaded with gold, but they're really not. Um, there's typically maybe at most four dollars in gold in the cell phone. This is a much older phone so the screws are actually Phillips head, not Torx, but the rest of these are going to be Torx bits. And this is the board that comes out. So if, if you look at it, there's really not a whole heck of a lot of gold on there. Um, you know, there, there's some, but not much to get excited about. Now, before you process these things, you can process the boards in acid peroxide, but you need to make sure you get everything off of that first. Um, so use a hot sand bath um, and pick off, you know, all these, you know, crystal oscillators here. Those have gold in them. The monolithic ceramic capacitors, um, those will have palladium and silver. Um, you know, a lot of these little things will visibly have gold on them. So that, you know, you make sure you put that aside for processing or selling elsewhere. Alright, so here we have the board in the somewhat newer phone, maybe let's call it the third generation, it's not technically third generation, but um, you know, you're going to have some gold plate here and there, all these little components, the, you know, the ICs will have some gold in them, um, this one's got a nice little ceramic chip there that will probably have gold in it, um, and again, you know, some little plating on there, but again, not much. Alright, so when you're pulling some of these phones out, they sometimes they come out in layers, you want to make sure you check them, like this one, it's got some some gold plated pieces there, right on the end. And you have the main board that comes out, that's got some nicer gold plating on it. Um, and it's got these metal things here, you're going to want to take those off and there will be some more gold plating underneath that. And on the back piece you have uh, some gold plating where the uh, battery terminals are and from where the smart card was. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the much smaller one. 
And again, I don't see any screws on it. There they are. Ooh, that's smaller than a T5. So again, they're all pretty much the same taking them apart. You take the screws off, you know, along the edges. Pry the little pieces off. Oh, that's actually steel. Alright, so we've got the back of the LCD. It's got a little bit of gold plating there in the bottom. And there's a couple little gold springs back there. Gold plated, sorry. And again, the board, you know, a little bit of plating up on the top, around the edges, and where the uh, keypad was. Um, and a couple of tantalum capacitors on there, right here and there. Alright, so now we get to the flip phones. These are a little bit more fun to take apart. When they start having moving parts on them, that's when I start getting grumpy. Alright, so again, you know, check for it, a couple little gold plated pieces in there where, where the in antenna was and up near the speaker. <coughs> Alright, you see something like this, you're going to want to remove that white or protective plastic coating on there because underneath that this is where all your gold is. Alright more plastic to take off and more of these little metal pieces to, to get off in a hot sand bath so boards are getting smaller in the new phones um, and less gold on them alright now on the top of the flip phone um, again these little buggers are hard to to get off it's always a hidden screw somewhere So, we've got the little LCD screen, that, you can check it. This board that's on there will have a little bit of gold plating on it, nothing major. And you want to make sure that if you have any ribbon wire in there, that you check it, because if you can see that, it's gold plated. And now we get to the horrible ones, the slide phones. I hate scrapping these. I absolutely hate it because of the sliding thing. They're separated on tracks and they're, I find them very difficult to take apart. So they're very time consuming anyway. All right, so the back piece came off and as you can see up here, there is some gold plated stuff. You want to grab that off. Alright, so we got the first half of that um, taken off. Now, again, you want to make sure you, you get rid of that, that white sticker, protective pad, whatever the hell it is. Once you get that off, which sometimes is easier than sometimes it's easier said than done. Now you got your gold plate behind there, and if you take this off, there's going to be some more uh, gold plate behind that, plus components that, that contain gold. All right, so now that we've gotten the back part off of this, 
slide foam. Now we gotta try and get to the other piece. That was actually quite easy. So in this one, there's really not a whole heck of a lot in that slide part that's going to have gold in it. Um, just back here, underneath the uh, little LCD screen. So right there, you're going to have some gold plate on the end of that. It's going to be some gold plate underneath here. You have those little push buttons. Boink. And a little bit of gold plate there. Alright, so that's it for scrapping cell phones. Now, uh, keep in mind that there are several different ways to uh, make money off of cell phones. Uh, one, if they work, you know, sell them on eBay. Um, there are people who buy them whole by the pound. Um, and then there are people who buy the cell phone boards. Or you can take the, take it the extra step and take them apart yourself. Get all the components off of these. You, you make, need to make sure you do that. Um, you know, hot sand bath, these little boards works really easily. Um, there's a scrapper on uh, YouTube called Geo. Who, um, who has some great videos on that. And then each little piece you know, has its own method for being processed. You can't just you know, stick everything all in the same pot and expect it all to come out just gold. Um, you know, these little ICs have a several step process for recovering gold from those. Um, the board is recovered one way, the, the gold from it. Um, so yeah, just you know, make sure you do your homework on all the little pieces. Um, and that's it. So, if you have any further questions, comment down here. I try and get back to you people pretty quickly. Um, oh, and make sure that you subscribe because I'm almost at 10,000 subs. And as soon as I hit 10,000 subs, as soon as I hit 10,000 subs, I am giving away not one, not two, but three wire strippers from TNT Tooling, the WSA wire stripper. It's an $80 stripper. All right. <clears throat> this is uh, one of the best strippers I've ever used. And, you know, as a scrapper, you know, if you've been doing this for a while, you know that your your real money is going to be in the copper and, and you know, other metals. Uh, gold, you know, unless you get a lot of quantity, gold is just a hobby. Um, so, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.